So you believe that your emotions are not tied to your finances, that they can't make you unstable. Hey Ross, where my money makes money emotionally, financially unstable. What does that mean? That means that you make decisions with your money based on how you feel, okay? I make it a point. I make it a goal, okay? It's my dream every day to talk to somebody about money. Whether I know more than them or they know more than me, that way I can gain more knowledge and give it to you guys, or we collab and we share different information. But this is what I found out. A lot of you, a lot, are emotionally, financially unstable. What is he talking about? Oh, he's unstable, right? That means that you make decisions based on how you feel, right? Remember window shopping? You go past a window. Oh, that's a, that's a nice dress. It stops you in your track. Oh, man. Oh, man. They got the new Nike on, the new Air Force Ones. Come on, man. These are your emotions. You're thinking about all the outfits you're going to put with that purse, those shoes, whatever the case may be. Or whether it be like you just conjure up in your mind right out of nowhere. You say, I need a new car. Well, your car is only three years old. Oh, I want something new and fresh. But you in debt. You have school loans. You don't have a lot of in savings. You're investing nothing. You your job just started your 401k. You haven't even did your IRA. There's no money anywhere except for the money that's coming in every two weeks or monthly from your paycheck that you're not even using for your benefit, right? You're not investing, you're not saving, you're just spending it. But emotionally, financially unstable, right? Because all your decisions are based upon how you feel. Like you look in your bank account, you got two or $300. Your guy like, hey, man, I'm going to the comedy show this weekend. Oh, how much are the tickets? Oh, man, they 70 bucks. Shit, I got it, man. I don't got, you know, I got 300, but I factor in $70. Okay, I need gas. That's $30. So I'm already at 100. Man, I got 200 left, man. But you don't have any money in savings. Or you don't have enough money in savings. And what's enough? Hey, let's go over $10,000. I know people like to do the three to six months to a year of all your bills. Let's just go with $10,000, right? You guys did a great job last year on the $1,000 challenge. I applaud you. A lot of you did excellent. Hopefully that thousand is in a high yield savings account accumulating funds. I'm off of it. But the point is this, why is it that everything that your friends do, everything that your family does, everything that your job puts forth, you have to be a part of because you feel, see, here we go. Here we go. You feel like you have to be a part of it for one reason or another. These are your emotions, these are your feelings, right? If you don't have it, then say, hey man, I don't have that type of money. Don't let pride get in front of your money, okay? Pride is way, way, way in the back of your money because pride and your emotions will end your butt up broke because we never wanna feel like we're cheap. We never wanna feel like we're broke. But if you look at some of my older videos, as a matter of fact, check this video out right here about it's okay to tell people that you're broke. It's practically fine, guys. This message is quick. It's in a hurry. I just want you to believe this one thing. It doesn't matter if you're 20 or you're 60. A lot of us like to dress nice and look nice and have nice things, but everything we do with our money could be tied to our emotions and or our pride. I'm here to tell you that none of that has anything to do with when you need the money, you don't have the money because at the time that you was feeling what you was feeling, you spent that money where you can be saving that money, investing that money, and doing all sorts of things with your money so it can make you money. This is Ross World. My money makes money. I don't have a lot yet, though, what well, people may think. I don't. I really don't. I'm out.